It's 4 p.m. Still drinking my farm rib, my essential amino acids. Fasted, just hydrating. Start cooking some food for the week. I'll do some skinny beef, of course. The 98% lean. We have some venison patties. Uh, I don't know. Fat looks a little higher just from the white content, but I'm not going to let these go to waste. I'll cook those. We're actually doing some cod loins with the tilapia. So, uh, wild caught cod loins with the crappia, till crappia, mixed in there. Seasoning, we're going with this pike, pier, fisherman, whatever, some fish seasoning, sea salt, and then some red pepper flakes. And that's it. And um, when I'm gonna eat and stop drinking, I'm gonna drink, of course, all day, but I'll focus on food uh, before my workout, which will be so soon after I cook. So maybe an hour or so. So yeah, I, I, I fast and just, not fast, I guess I'm only saying that. I amino pulse all day and I feel good and just keeping hydrated and uh, I feel full. My muscles feel full because of the, the water that I'm able to shove in and cram in right now. So um, everything's filling out nicely. I got my skinny beef and my elk or my venison patties on here. Uh, key is, especially with the skinny beef, don't overcook these. You definitely want to leave them uh, pink, red, uh, rare almost. Because I tell you what, if you get these even a little bit overcooked, they are like super dry. It's like eating 99% turkey. It's just cardboard. So definitely undercook these. Then you can microwave them, um, you know, whenever you heat them up. But I would definitely have these more medium rare to rare. Venison, cook a little bit more, it's a little bit higher fat. Um, doesn't dry out as easy, so the fat keeps it, at least these venison patties have more fat, and the fat keeps it moist. But the skinny beef is literally so fat free, so I'm gonna take these off real soon. All right, that's what you want. That color right there for the skinny beef, perfect. Cod's done. Flappy is done, skin of use done. So that's it for right now. But uh, this is gonna be delicious. You gotta cook this gonna be just right or else you literally waste your money. I swear it. All right, uh, Sunday evening, 7.45 p.m. Just got done training legs. I did immuno pulsing until the 5 p.m cooked the fish, cooked my um, skinny beef, had one protein meal of uh, some fish and skinny beef, and that's it. So I've eaten like once today, I've been flushing, hydrating, peeing a lot, had a really good leg workout, pretty exhausted like always. Uh, you guys need to holler at Rachel and have her film a workout, not that it's anything amazing with weights, but just you can see what I do exactly as far as my... Uh, my mind muscle connection workout where I'm really focusing on different rep tempo speeds and also a lot of a lot of volume and pre-exhaustion. So did that and now I'm headed to a store to get Rachel some yogurt. Probably pick myself up some more bullshit plastic fat-free cheese. Uh, try to get a gorilla tripod so I can actually do a video or just better pictures for you guys instead of that makeshift phone set up against a Clorox bleach bottle, which was really kind of ridiculous. I think I need some more stuff too. I need to probably jot down exactly what I need before I walk into this stupid grocery store and I walk around aimlessly. Uh, but I'm not that hungry. I feel good. Uh, I really don't feel bloated. I don't feel like I have like a huge moon face or anything right now. Maybe tomorrow will be different, but I think I didn't really overdo it that much at all yesterday. feel pretty good, which is nice. If I did the halo top, if I busted into one halo top, I would have eaten all four of them. So I'm glad I didn't, I didn't touch them. Um, so we're gonna go here and pick up some crap and bring it back and I'll be uh, eat another meal when I get home well, I don't know what this oh yeah another thing that I do <laughs> clients don't get any any ideas here this is definitely for off season even though it's not that damaging but it's very easy to cheat on um, the sugar-free fat-free whipped cream ready whip um, there's a whole foods version that is uh, no sugar added so it's like zero grams of fat and like barely like one gram of sugar for two tablespoons of like whipped cream and I'll put that on my protein shakes or in my yogurt as a topping it's delicious I wouldn't do that pre-contest when I'm in pre-contest now as you know you watch my little shotgun prep I'm like only water very strict nothing added 
But right now I can let loose. If you call that letting loose, it's still pretty pathetic. But uh, if I do that, I'll show you guys how I add that to my protein shakes and stuff. It's, it's pretty good, it's pretty delicious to me, so. All right, guys, here's my Sunday night post-workout treat. It's pretty late, it's almost nine. So two scoops of whey isolate. I use cashew milk and egg whites, pasteurized egg whites. So half and half for the liquid portion of this. This is my little treat, my fat-free ready whip. This isn't the good Whole Foods kind, but it, nonetheless, it's still only um, two tablespoons, zero fat, one gram of carb. So I'm gonna start blending this up. And then I'm gonna add my little topping at the end. And that is my dessert that's low carb, low fat. Nice and thick. A little thick. To add a little bit actually during the blending process. Perfect. This is how we roll. Thick and creamy. Yeah, buddy. That's how we do it, guys. My second meal, day after my carb load. Very minimal food, a lot of liquid. There's my shake. Old school Max Muscle Shaker. <laughs> All right, guys, final meal. Sunday night is my third or fourth meal. Started eating at what, five? Um, so it's just the Greek yogurt, which is the Kirkland's Costco. About a cup and a half, two cups. Added some whey isolate to it, froze it. So it's a little bit frozen and thawed it, so it's almost like, a, I guess you can call it like some makeshift ice cream. And I'm gonna add my little treat here. Beautiful, right? Then I take my krill oil, 2,000 milligrams, four soft gels before bed. That's why I take my fats. My dietary fat is really supplemental fat because my diet's so low in fat, so I definitely do krill oil or fish oil every night. And that's it, guys. That's my post one day after my refeed. Very light day, a lot of fluid, and then minimal food towards the end, and tomorrow's back to normal, more meals, so. There's a uh, Sunday, day after. Okay, it's Monday. Uh, woke up a pound lighter, 233, says 234. Don't feel too bloated, feel actually full, muscle belly wise, so uh, things feel favorable, don't feel like I'm spilled over or anything. Going to go work out now, have my Celluval, new flavor. New flavor, remember we have Candy Shuck, this is a new flavor, it's gonna come out very, very soon, it's freaking delicious. So I'm gonna ingest this while I drive to the gym right now, pre-training. Then the other bottle, I got my good old farm grade, my essential amino acid formula. A lot of people don't understand that the farm grade guys, it's not just an EAA, but it has the phosphatidic acid, the mediator trademark. And I think that's overlooked. And that's why the product seems expensive as 70 bucks, but you're getting above clinical phosphatidic acid plus the essential amino acids. And if you really look into the ingredient profile, it's pretty amazing. They're a Genomoto, so the best quality amino acids, and the mediator is patented trademark. So the phosphatidic acid on its own, if you were to take the same dose on a solo product, it'd be like 50 bucks. The Genomoto product on its own would probably be like 40, 50 bucks. That's like 90 to $100. So farm grade's a really good deal. So I just think it's overlooked, and I don't market it hard enough probably for what it is, but this is always in my blood intra workout. And I really want to reveal this to you what it is. It's freaking good. You can dry mouth it, powder, it tastes so good. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna train some back. Haven't trained with uh, any straps or versa grips for a long time. Just been training very light, mind muscle, not going heavy. So I'm gonna have my straps today, maybe do a little heavier in the weight department. So that's it. All right guys, just got done training my back and I freaking pulled something. Tweak my lower back, doing nothing really, just some weird movement, and now it's like hurting to bend over. So I'm gonna stop by Teriyaki Madness. I just did a to-go order, just chicken breast plate with vegetables, steamed vegetables, of course, not stir-fried, because I'm in a hurry, have an appointment. We have like an HOA meeting for our neighborhood. And then I'm gonna arrange a massage at this place called Massage Lotus, or Lotus Massage, um, tonight at 9 p.m. to see if that'll help my back, but probably not. <laughs>
probably just do nothing but just make me feel a little better as far as lowering stress levels and then um yeah that's it so this sucks but hopefully my back will feel better my knee hurts again what do you know there it is Lo guys i gotta laugh a little bit that lotus massage back there see the sign i literally every time i go in there uh they don't really speak english at all so i literally just nod my head smile and do hand gestures and we communicate that way for, for a 60 minute massage but i literally went in there and said 9 p.m and it took like five minutes to clarify what i meant and the time and stuff but we got it through it's just kind of funny but it's really good place and they the lady does very good massage and um it's just funny because we communicate through hand gestures and head gestures and it's just funny so hopefully uh he understood 9 p.m i thought he did all right so here is the meal teriyaki madness nothing special Pure chicken, steamed vegetables, no oil. I gotta eat it now. We're on the road, gotta go. But this is what I ordered. No carbs, just teriyaki sauce, which has carbs, but very minimal. All right, guys, we're at Whole Foods right now. Uh, Rachel's gonna get a bite to eat because we eat here sometimes. And I got my, not the ready whip, but the really good quality whipped cream with natural ingredients. Let's see here, I'll show you what it looks like. So right here. Zero fat, one gram of carb. A little better than the, uh, the the Ready Whip, which is a little crappier quality. And then I'm gonna show you the uh, fat-free, pretty, I think it's fat-free, no oil added hummus, which is pure garbanzo beans, chickpeas, and there's a black bean hummus with no no added oil, which is phenomenal. So I'll show you that, that too. Of course, we'll pick up the fat-free cheese, not the shredded cheese, we'll pick up the actual little squares they're a little bit more expensive and better tasting and we'll show you some things that we get here hey i want to throw jalapenos in that guacamole again. i don't see it uh, all right guys so here's the cheese fat free cheeses it's a monterey jack mozzarella swiss cheddar jalapeno jack fat free i'm gonna get one of each some nuts Expensive. Ugh. And also, besides Greek yogurt, quark. A little lower carbs, higher protein. Six grams of carbs and 17 grams of protein, zero fat. That's pretty legit. Quark. German style. Alright, guys, we're also going to try these coconut aminos as a soy sauce replacement because the, the sodium. Instead of being on the soy sauce, this is the reduced sodium and it's still 490. The coconut aminos, only 90 milligrams. Could taste like crap, but I'm gonna try these to do my marination. I'm gonna cut it with the regular soy sauce. All right guys, it's Tuesday morning, almost afternoon. Uh, today's my heavy uh, email day, my work day, so I've been surviving off my farm-grade essential amino acids uh, since waking at uh, 7 a.m. Now it's 11, I'm going to do my first session of cardio on my bike, and then I'm going to eat my first meal. But, you know, today, um, when I'm so busy, I get really fixated, and I don't like to take breaks from my computer, so... I like to drink my uh, my amino acids and I might eat a little less today. So I'm gonna knock out my cardio. I might do 20 minutes of hit. Usually do 15, I might do 20. Like I said, I, I do sit, I try to do a standing station and work standing, but I will also take breaks and kind of lay in my bed because it's nice and it's comfortable. It's a posturepedic. And I will do more cardio maybe today to facilitate more blood flow. So I'm gonna do that right now. Then we're gonna check my weight to see if I'm down at baseline, which is like, should be around 230, 231, 229 within that range, meaning that I'm back to normal on a Tuesday when I carved up Saturday. Here we go, Tuesday. 230, baseline, so it took me Sunday, Monday. Right, Smokey, what's your baseline, bro? 15 pounds after load, 14. No, he's 15. Constantly, he's a freaking little fat ass. All right, guys, there we go.
Doing another hit session, guys. It's been about four hours since the first one just to keep blood flowing. And I'm doing uh, another 20 minutes, so this is 40 minutes total. Because I'm mostly sedentary, standing, sedentary, off and on, watching delicious destinations, bizarre foods, because I'm a weirdo and uh, I like to watch food. One of the things I've noticed is that whenever you are bloated, certain key areas of your body hold water. So for me, when I know that I'm getting dry again, I can see the difference in my calves. My calves are striated and vascular and paper thin again, I know I'm on point. If not, I know I'm holding a film. So everyone has their key areas, their sweet spots. So I'm gonna work out now in uh, about three hours, hit up some arms. Don't know if I'll do any more cardio. I'm not sure if it's needed, but maybe I'll make more progress this week and actually get leaner, who knows, so. Anyway, just keeping you guys on on uh, on board with what I'm doing cardio-wise for today, Tuesday. All right, guys, getting ready to go train. First, I'm gonna stop by the butcher block, local butcher. See if I can get some uh, of my interesting meats. We'll see if I, they have any venison in stock. I'm gonna inquire about some kangaroo meat because it's the leanest you can get, and maybe if they can do some uh, eye of round for my beef teriyaki I make on my griddle. So, I would film inside but Rachel's not here so it'd be better if she filmed me buying stuff but anyway we'll film another time but this is the place right here and I'll show you what I get whenever I'm done <laughs> all right so I'm back from training and unfortunately butcher block did not have any venison so I I um, treated myself I got some sushi sashimi oro king sushi salmon yeah it's 23 bucks a pound Take a look at this bad boy. See what it looks like. Can you open this fridge while I film? Of course. Show the viewers the, the $23 sashimi. I'm only going to have half. Very nice color. Mm -hmm. Yes, it looks like it's very shiny as plastic, right? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to eat half of that. It's probably very rich. I'll have the other half tomorrow. That's what we got. Tomorrow they got more venison and if Rachel goes with me, then she can film inside the shop from that perspective. So there you have it. All right, guys, there's post-workout. Half of the sashimi with a little bit of drizzle of soy sauce, sriracha, and my Mimic Frosty Malt Thick Whey Isolate Shake. That's my treat. It's a lot of fat, so that'll take care of my krill oil. I don't need to take that tonight. That'll replace it. Give you smoke you a little something to, to munch on. Some sashimi. Hell yeah, buddy. You deserve it. All right guys, same old, same old. I love that eye of round, so I got more of that. So two bags of eye of round, I'm gonna go cook outside. More chicken. And then here's what I did. I did about quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce, quarter cup of coconut aminos to cut the sodium of the soy sauce because it's very similar, but it's a lot less sodium in there. And then I added about a quarter cup of water to dilute it. Then I added a couple squirts of sucralose, stirred the shit out of it in the cup, and then poured it into each bag. And I only let it marinate for like eight hours because I'm very hungry and I have ran out of food. So normally I like to do it overnight to really let it set in. But um, we're gonna cook this right now. You've already seen that last video, so I'm not gonna do that again. And then of course more skinny beef. <clears throat> You're gonna have to cook that bad boy about rare because that's the way you eat skinny beef rare. A little bit better than rare, but you cook it rare, then it continues to cook a little bit more. So, so I'm gonna go put this to work. Then I'll do my vegetables afterwards, guys. It's a uh, Wednesday, and uh, 
did some pictures in the bathroom, bought dryer. Then last week, um, obviously not going crazy gung ho on the on the cheat last week. Uh, did my body good? I feel a lot better. I'm back to normal, super fast. So, all right. Hour and a half later, we are all done. Vegetables, stir fry vegetables, prepackaged bag, added mushrooms. I have round steak, chicken, and perfectly cooked skinny beef. This is how you want your skinny beef, guys. Shaboom. Just like that. Any more than that, and it's dry as cardboard. That's it. This won't last very long, unfortunately. Thursday morning, and I'm at the gym for morning cardio, uh, touch-up calves, traps, miscellaneous stuff. A little update, <clears throat> here's some shit. So, <clears throat> my recent prescription, I got a new order in from Empower Pharmacy, a compound pharmacy in Texas. Um, one of my bottles crashed. Literally started crystallizing along the, uh, the bottle. Uh, I had to shake it up, uh, stove heat it, and I injected it in my glute, and it crystallized on my glute, and I've been in freaking pain. So terrible pain skip legs I've been you know how it is whenever you have um, crystallization in the muscle it's like the worst pain ever so I've been like literally just hobbling the last three days and I talked to my representative for the uh, the TRT company they're gonna contact the compound pharmacy and try to get a replacement because it crashed so that's crazy that sucks um, so I've been in pain in that regard my knee's inflamed. I think I, the hit cardio on my bike is inflaming my knee because the tension. Um, and I do it a lot, so it makes sense. Overuse, so my knee's hurting. My glutes fucked up. So obviously I wanted to push through legs and do it anyway, but I'm like, you know what? If I have an imbalance because my glutes weak and I shift my load on the left side that's not injured, the glute, you know, the glute that's not injured, it'll probably have an imbalance. I could injure myself more, whether it's a knee, whether it's a hip, whether it's lower back or anything. So I skip legs. Uh, now cardio is another thing. So uh, since I'm not going to do my bike right now because overuse of my knee and all that business, I got to somehow figure out, um, I might just start walking outside steady state for longer duration, which sucks because I love getting shit done fast, short hit intervals, but I might walk steady state for 40 plus minutes. So right now we're 24. I'm going to, I'm going to do some steady state cardio because I don't want to aggravate my knee. So that sucks. Shit happens. It's just, it's just lame that these compound pharmacies, you know, that are, pharmaceutical quality in a very uh, sterile professional setting environment uh, has these issues you know but stuff does happen because the other bottles I got have always been fine so you just never know and then look at this vintage jacket I'm wearing I used to be sponsored by Axis Labs in 2009 I don't care I'm still wearing it who cares um, <laughs> so that's what we're doing Thursday. Weight's normal, 2.30 in the morning. I've been like that for a while now. And um, hopefully this freaking glute starts feeling a little better because, man, you guys know what it's like. You shoot like a shot of propionate or something that's crashed or some painful uh, gear. It's not fun. All right, we're going to be making some chicken soup tonight. Rachel likes to make soup. She's a soup lover. Then I tend to eat the soup after she makes it because it's so good. Yeah. Chicken breast. Chicken breast. There's going to be no carbs in the soup. Just chicken or protein and vegetables. So there's the chicken breast. I'm going to put it in the oven for uh, however long it takes to cook. 375. She's doing celery, onion, carrots. Usually I bake them the same size, but if it's just for me and then Matt steals it, then I don't really care that the vegetables yeah. are different sizes and they cook at different times. But if like we were having people over, I'd make it a little more nice. Doesn't matter. They're beautiful vegetables anyway. So we'll get that going and we'll show you the end product. And it's diet food, so you guys dieting can definitely do soup. It's just chicken and vegetables in different form. Obviously the sodium will be higher. You can get low sodium chicken stock though. How long have these been cooking down for now? Well, it's a bit, I made a bigger batch, so probably like eight minutes or so, and now I'm just gonna pour in. I'm just doing this easy, so no chicken stock. Is that low or sodium anything. or regular? This is low sodium. 
whole I thing. How many, how, how many ounces is that carton? I don't know. I just, do you do two of them? I just kind of go for it. You just, you just go balls out. It's like, it's nothing fancy. No, it's actually very easy for people to make. Let me see it. One forty-seven. That's not bad for a cup times six. Yeah. Then if Matt wants to measure his chicken, I cook the chicken separate, so we have the chicken in the oven. Yeah, you can segregate both. And then I, and then he can just measure it out and put it in if he wants, or I can just put it in. Cause last time That's I put it. People would have to do at home with their dieting. I kind of like chicken. dumped it in, and then he ate all the chicken out of it. For sure. And I didn't get any. And then I just add like um, basil and oregano. Nothing. Crazy, and salt and, and pepper. And we added uh, garlic in there too. The, uh, the yeah. minced garlic. Okay. So minced garlic, celery, carrots, onion, and some uh, oregano. Whatever. He's always complaining about me eating healthier while I have this baby in here, and he and he eats all my food that I make, so I can't. It's a compliment. It means you're a good cook. <laughs> and yeah. I'm making. So chickens out of the oven. No need to season it because it's gonna go right into the seasoned stew. Soup. Soup. What's stew? Mm, thicker. Thicker. Gotcha. My bad. Soup. There's the noodle separate. Add the carbs. Add the protein. Now we could um, keep this separate and measure it out, but I'm not measuring anything, so we're gonna just cut it up in chunks. Should I dump these in? Or strip? No. Don't <laughs> fucking dump those in. Strips or chunk? Are we gonna strip it, piece it apart, or just cut it in we'll chunks? Just cut it in chunks. Okay. And obviously Make put it, it in quick. there. And then you have a delicious soup, guys. Another option of um, diet food that's a little different as far as the uh, palatability and all that stuff. Cool. Booyah, time to eat. Added some crushed red pepper flakes. I'm fantasizing over Rocco's Pizza. One of the best places in Henderson, Nevada. There it is. Carb-free, protein and veggies. Delicious broth, get your sodium on, because you'll be depleted of it. You're doing a lot of cardio and training. So Friday, I'm gonna pick up some stuff for Saturday. Found some amazing pretzels for 99 cents. And I got some plain bagels. So we're gonna, you know, do a little shopping for tomorrow's delicious carb day. Not sure what I'm gonna do for tomorrow, but I'm gonna definitely eat some of these. Any other delicious delights, Rachel? Uh, I think these look good. These submarine rolls. What do you rolls? do with these rolls? Like hot dog rolls? No, I can't or? even. Oh, a hot dog sounds great. What do, you, what do you do with the big ass, big ass sandwich? You can't have yeah, a sandwich. Yeah, I know. You have the, a veggie sandwich. The blueberry one. We're not going to get these, but I found these fascinating. Look how large they are. Who said we're not going to get them? Who said we're not going to get them? I'm just kidding. These normal size? It's crazy. Smith's is legit. This is like better than Vaughn's. This is from our company. Any good breads that are not oil baths? Ooh, this would be good. It's probably oily. Cinnamon bread, soybean oil, vegetable shortening, basically a pastry. We just went to the farmer's market, so we don't really need veggies. That's legit. Nope, soybean oil. God dang it. Move it along. I'm hungry. Let's pick up some eye of round roast. Not steaks. Ran out of skinny beef, so this is the next best thing to skinny beef while my order comes. So we're going to put it in our meat grinder and make hamburgers. So if you guys uh, at home either have your butcher grind eye of round in a hamburger or buy a meat grinder, and you'll have a um, very, very lean burger or taco meat. So we're at the movie theater, as you can see. It's Friday, so my day to eat carbs is tomorrow. But I had a plan. Since I can't do regular caffeine, and I gotta drink diet soda, I can just do a water, a little bit of flavored meal. However, I'm surprised. I just was surprised because they have Sprite Zero. So that's amazing. Usually it's just Coke Zero, which is caffeine. So. I can enjoy a $10 Sprite Zero with one free refill, so I'll probably be pissing my brains out through the entire movie, but 
It's my only enjoyment because I can't have Sour Patch Kids and super soft pretzels and all that good stuff, which Rachel will be having. Uh, so it's a little brutal being here on a Friday night. Kind of wish I came here tomorrow so I could actually eat some pretzels and some other stuff. But we're going to see the greatest show ever. And I'll be the judge of that if it's the greatest show ever after we're done. So, Sprite. All right, guys, it's Saturday. And today is a day I love. <clears throat> so, I'm getting ready to train legs. And I haven't trained legs all week because I've been having knee problems again which is probably from overuse, overtraining, overreaching, doing the, uh, the hit cardio on the bike nonstop. So it's, it's the, the patellar tendonitis or jumper's knee, I'm assuming. Uh, so I've been, for the first time, doing the KT Kinesio Therapy Tape. I've been mastering as much as I can as far as different techniques to tape it. So I've been doing that all week and you know it seems to be a little bit better, but of course I haven't done anything to test it because I've been doing steady state cardio. So I've averaged this whole week uh, around 40 to 45 minutes of cardio. Uh, treadmill and a little bit of step mill and no intervals. <clears throat> so I got my freaking knee taped up right now. Then I'm gonna have my Ray-Ban knee sleeves over it. I'm really, really hoping I don't have any issues and it doesn't get inflamed, that's super depressing. So I plan to, to do, do high volume this workout, do a lot of pre-exhaustion. I really wanna get things going because um, I haven't worked late. I'm used to working late twice a week, so this is kind of Work them in six days, which is actually a lot for me. I'm usually doing twice a week, so I'm not used to this. Uh, also, been picking it carbs here and there today, low fat. Had that bagel you saw at the grocery store, I ate that. I uh, had English muffin, the banana nut flavor Thomas English muffin. Um, you know, some PB2, some bullshit like that. A couple yogurts, no heavy carb meals or anything. I'm gonna decide what I wanna do tonight. Either gonna do uh, the MPA low fat nachos where I make homemade tortilla chips, cut them up, bake them in the oven all that other bullshit that goes on top of them. Or maybe some, this is gonna be a catastrophe, I've never done this, but like a, a fat-free macaroni and cheese. Don't ask, it's gonna be crazy with almond milk and melted fat-free cheese and then um, obviously pasta shells. Might do that. Uh, whatever else, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know how much we can cook and fit in tonight because Rachel wants to go to this Chinese festival thing um, with a lot of different lights and different artwork and stuff. So we're gonna film that, I'm assuming. Uh, but we'll see how much food I can actually make tonight, or she might sucker me into. Um, why that happen? She might sucker me into eating out. So we'll see what we can do. I don't want to go too crazy, but my stomach's already sensitive. Literally had the bagel and some yogurts, and I have bubble guts, just from carbs in general. Um, not good. After you take a shower, you want to be fresh and clean. You don't want to drop a deuce before you train legs and get sweaty. That's freaking gross. Hopefully, nature doesn't call because it kind of feels that way. All right, guys, uh, hopefully we can get some uh, at least one recipe going on tonight. And then I'm going to take my eye of round roast. I got bought roast, not the steaks. I'm going to do a pot, crock pot and see if I can actually tenderize that lean stuff. So we'll see. Yeah. Oh, I'm done. That was a really good workout, guys. Um, knees cooperated pretty well. Um, I'll know... I'll know what happens after the workout, whenever inflammation, you know, potentially could set in. So I usually don't feel pain till like after, till after all the blood's gone and the knee gets um, depleted again out of from the, the blood flow. So that usually tells the true story. But so far, so good. The the KT tape, uh, I think I taped it pretty well from all the freaking tutorials, videos, and different sites that I researched. Um, always on a carb day, I am. I just get too excited. So there's a GNC next door. So I got some worthless poor nutrient value snacks like protein bars but i'll tell you what for protein bars this brand i'll show you the no cow bar it's relatively low fat for a bar so you might have heard of these no cow whatever there's um two and a half grams of fat so two and a half grams usually usually bars have like almond butter and oils mcts coconut butter whatever it's usually like 12 grams of fat so this is two and a half grams of fat 21 grams of protein no calcium, I'm assuming, obviously no way, but who cares? 28 grams of carbs. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. And this is a, um, see that two and a half? Blueberry cobbler, I got lemon pie. I got, you know, I'm a beef jerky guy, but ostrom, which is really not ostrich, they're liars. It's probably like 1% ostrich, then the rest cheap beef. Uh, so I got some ostrom sticks. And then, um, Love true nutrition, obviously, but I like uh, sometimes a dessert for protein and 
Ghost has this peanut butter cereal milk. Haven't tried the cereal milk, and it's not it's nothing I would diet with if I were any of uh, you guys that might be dieting for a show. It's you know two grams of fat for a scoop. It's a whey concentrate mixed with isolate. Uh, carbs are at four grams, so it's nothing to diet with. It's more of a treat. So to diet with, I'd only trust True Nutrition when zero zero carbs, zero fat, whey isolate, micro filtered. This is purely like a dessert. So I'm gonna try this out. See how good it is. Had some leftover uh, Quest Hero bars from whenever I won the overall at the tournament champions. They give, gave me a bunch of boxes. So I have like one or a few bars, you know, during the Saturday. So anyway, that's stupid shit that I do. Um, but yeah, everything's pretty clean though. Low fat, Ostrom, whatever. That's it, guys. Gonna go home and um, what is it? Like five something. Hopefully I can cook some, something. I really want to try the fat free mac and cheese. It sounds good, like sounds good, but it probably in reality could be a catastrophe. I think we should try it out. Just got home testing out the peanut butter cereal flavor. It's actually very good. So two scoops away I slit, fat free ready whip over the top. Going to add a little bit of peanut butter powder. Oh that's good. It's, yeah, it's going to add to the peanut buttery goodness. Here's the pretzel from, where was that? Smith's. With some Trader Joe's, Dijon, half English muffin. So this is just post-workout. Then we're going to go Chinese Maybe painting. What is it? What is it? Chinese lights. Chinese art. Pi I might want to try to do it during the week because the people might, it might be too busy. Oh my God. Let me see that shirt. No. Show the shirt. Come on. <laughs> no, they probably really want to see the shirt. Though. <laughs> It's a picture of Smokey on the shirt. All right, so I'm gonna eat this shit down, and then I want to cook something tonight, like I said. But I don't know. We're gonna be out and about. Who knows what we're gonna have time I for? I don't know if we're gonna do China lights because no I was thinking. Well, I was just gonna try to talk to you about it right now. Is this, I mean, is this private talk, or can we talk on the phone? <laughs> but it's Saturday and it's busy, and we could go during the week. Uh, and I don't like things when they're crowded. I like walking around though. It's nice to just get moving, get blood moving. Well, maybe we could go to like Tivoli. Or but something. I don't want to waste forty bucks either. So. Well, it might be too crowded. I'm gonna look it up and see about the weekday. All right. I guess we'll figure and something out. I'm gonna, I need to munch this. This yeah. pretzel looks too good. <clears throat> All right, guys. We're gonna scratch the Chinese art whatever that was downtown festival thing i'm hungry i'm gonna make a quick little fat free grilled cheese got this lentil grain bread got my overpriced fat free cheddar cheese we're gonna do this here got my fake butter spray on my brand new skillet and we're gonna let that bad boy just just chill and make a really really Sorry, excuse for grilled cheese. While while I get ready to take Rachel to <clears throat> some place called something Mac. God, I can't think of the name. Something Mac, Billy Mac, some bar that has great wings. So get her some wings. I'm not gonna have wings there. Too much fattening bullshit. And then we're gonna cook some other shit, guys. We're gonna cook um, maybe some fat-free mac and cheese or nachos. Some nachos with some shredded, disgusting cardboard, 99% turkey. So I'll let you know how this is going here soon, the final product. Hopefully I can get a golden crust on each side and hopefully the plastic cheese melts. All right guys, here's the key. The weight of the coffee pot. Oh, beautiful, look at that color. Oh, shit. Oh, it's, it's melted. Oh, look at that, that's perfection. MPA, MPA all day. No smoking, not for you. Kind of hot. Ugh. There you have it, guys. It's, uh, it's hard to do with one hand here. Let's see how this works. Come on. I'm not too shabby. All right, I'm gonna mow that down and then um, figure out what I'm gonna do next. But not too bad. Not too bad. I'm impatient, guys. I'm going to get this mac and cheese concoction going. Fat-free jalapeno jack, fat-free cheddar. Grinded, shredded it up, cheese grater. Here's the uh, pasta shells I decided to go with. I'm going to cook these up, get them al dente. And I'm really free-balling this. I have no idea. I've never made this before, so this could be a complete catastrophe. So I think I'm going to um, get some almond milk going. I'm going to boil that. 
Obviously I can't do butter. So I'm gonna do almond milk and I'm gonna melt the cheese and try to make a cheese sauce. It could be ridiculous. I should probably Google this. I should probably use Google and not just make this up in my head. So until the next step. All right guys, here's where I'm at so far. Pasta's almost done. I'm gonna leave it a little bit undercooked so it'll continue cooking when I mix the cheese sauce in. I figured out the secret ingredient. So we have the almond milk, the fat-free cheddar cheese over there. Here's the key. One fourth cup of all-purpose flour. Just gotta thicken it up to a roux. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go two cups of almond milk and get that going here first. And then um, this thing could come to life. So until the next uh, clip. I think I'm creating a mess. So the flour's in here. The milk, almond milk's in here. It looks a little thin and chunky. I'm gonna add the cheese and see how this goes, how this goes, guys. This is not looking like the roux I anticipated. So hopefully I don't waste a bunch of cheese. All right, add the freaking cheese. I need Rachel to hold the camera for me. This is hard to do. I don't even know if there's enough cheese. Looks like enough cheese. All right, I'm gonna do this without holding the camera. Slowly whisk it in and I'll come back to this. Uh, so this is the cheese mixed in guys, it's thick. Jalapeno jack and cheddar. So I'm gonna dump the noodles in here and I mean it's it's thick, it's a sauce. Is it a good tasting sauce? Fuck, I don't know. We're gonna find out though, so here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna concoct this together and then uh, show you the final product. I might end up throwing this away, that'd be a big waste though. We'll see. Alright. Honestly, your boy's an iron chef. Damn fat-free iron chef. Look at that. Hello. Amazing. What are you making? Fat-free mac and cheese. Your husband's a genius. Ugh. I think this is like the last week I can Look get at it that. in my pants. I'm going to taste it for the cam. Ew, nobody wants to hear me. Mm, no, good. There you go. Extremely low fat, high protein, high carb, mac and cheese, MPA style. Can we get some wings? I just wing this. I just wing this shit. There you go. I'm very happy, guys. I'm going to take a picture and post on IG. Nice little plate there. Add some organic sriracha. Hmm. Are we going, Rachel, to Bernie Max? No. <laughs> Jimmy Max. Jimmy Max with some wings. Let me scarf this down here first. Are you proud of that? All right. You gotta finish this. All right, Rachel wants wings. This is the place. Johnny Max, not Bernie Max. My bad. Hello, my little wing monster. We're gonna try to zip this. So you don't want wings, just the baby does, because you're on a diet yourself. <laughs> not on any kind of diet. You're on a diet, but the baby but wants wings. I'm I guess that's true. I'm gonna try to zip this bump. That's the best thing ever to say to the babies, like eating what he wants, but you're on a diet. <laughs> That's what my friend said. So it goes to different places in the when body. When we got donuts, she bought my baby a donut, but not me. Oh, well, yeah. She knew you wouldn't like it. It just partitioned to him and his uh, <laughs> development. Oh my All right, guys, Rach got, what wings are those, babe? What do we got here? The, yeah, what are they? These ones are the mild ones, and these ones are the Chipotle, or not Chipotle, I don't like barbecue, Vickery barbecue. Vickery barbecue, medium, and then, and then pizza. Oh my god, you just, you're getting a nice, just had a salad. it's like a buffet. I was suckered into, I got a chicken breast sandwich, sauce on the side, which I'm not going to use. Let's see. Uh, I, did, I did get mozzarella cheese. Uh, I hope there's not other sauce on there. I think it's just cheese, but, oh, there might be sauce. Fuck it, whatever. Oh well. How many do you think I can finish? You're gonna have a doggy bag for sure. There's 20. That's too much food. Try one. You try one yet? No. I'm not gonna do it. Review of the wings, my darling. What, what do you think? Not as good as Fire on the Mountain in Portland, Oregon. No, they're but not. But better than 
than poop stop here or oh, okay. wing, wing stop. stop my bad poop stop wing um, stop they are good but i wish that like these are saucy i wish that the mild was more saucy and less dry and less oil but the mild really the mild's a dry rub it's, it's the best um it's the best that we've had in las vegas so yeah. far and the pizza's really good all right i uh, mowed down my chicken burger and then two minutes they were nice enough to bring me some dry garlic bread without the garlic butter to munch on while my wife feasts on her little buffet over here. While we watch some men's figure skating. <laughs> That's right, men's figure skating, baby. She's actually demolishing the wings. <laughs> How many left out of the two pounds? Just these two? Just two, one and a quarter, or one and three fourths. Still has the pizza though. I don't know. Not I think all the of it. I ate one slice. You know that pizza is gonna go home. Don't challenge me or I'll hurt myself. But this is just for the baby. This isn't even for you at all. <laughs> right? Uh, You're on an actual really strict diet, you. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, my golly, she did it. Actually, I did. I you Smiling too. <laughs> How you one. feel? One side salad with ranch, a lot of ranch. So, since the baby is done eating, you're gonna Two eat your, pounds of wings. You're gonna eat your chicken and salad at home for yourself. No. Cause, I might have ice cream and I'm going to bed. Oh, uh, all right, there you go. She, uh, she proved me wrong. Can't help it this week, guys. It's Halo Tops just screaming my name. Cinnamon roll. Ugh. This flavor is delicious. I'm gonna spray some of my shit on there. You know how we do. Ugh. I'm doomed. Gas City. I don't know. I'll probably eat this whole thing. Hopefully, I won't mess with the other ones. The other flavors actually aren't that good. I kind of dug into them and sampled them. They're the best one, the cinnamon roll. So. The um, pancakes and waffles are kind of gross. Then I might mess with some more mac and cheese. Um, it's late though, it's like past 11. So I'll let you guys know if I eat anything else. All right guys, finished the Halo Top. I gotta finish this mac and cheese. I don't want it looking at me all week in the fridge, so it's almost gone. With a nice little Great Harvest bread roll. Some Louisiana spicy seasoning, reheated in the oven. Probably not the oven, microwave. Tastes even better. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to be a smart human being tonight. I'm going to throw in the towel. I just had that macaroni and cheese, the fat-free shit. Wasn't as good the second time because I'm fuller. I had a roll. I'm going to have another roll. I'm going to get to hell in bed with my wife at 11 o'clock or whatever it is and sleep and get on to my week of dieting. Next week, Super Bowl Sunday, so I wanna get dirty with it and have like actual cheap, cheap food with, with more fat, not low fat shit. Actually, we'll see, you know, I'm crazy. I might freak out and I look like shit midweek and decide to go low fat on my next Saturday. But for now, no more Halo Top. I did that one cinnamon roll and my stomach's already a mess so definitely not gonna touch the other ones I should just throw them away and be smart and go to bed so until next time guys